On July 25th, OpenAI introduced Search GPT, a new search tool changing how we find information online. Unlike traditional search engines, which require you to type any specific keywords, Search GPT lets you ask questions in natural, everyday language, just like having a conversation. So this is a big shift from how we were used to searching the web. Instead of thinking in keywords and hoping to find the right result, you can ask now Search GPT exactly what you want to know, and it will understand the context and give you direct answers. It designed to make searching easier and more intuitive without going through links and pages. But with this new way of searching, so there are some important questions to consider. Can Search GPT compete with Google, the search giant we all know? What makes Search GPT different from AI overviews? Another recent search tool. And how does it compare to ChatGPT, OpenAI, popular conversational AI? So in this video, we are going to explore these questions and more. We will look at what makes Search GPT special, how it compares to other tools, and why it might change the way we search for information. Whether you are new into tech or just curious, this video will break it down in simple words. Stick around to learn more about Search GPT. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. But before we start, if you want to learn AI and ML from the industry expert, try Simply Learn's postgraduate program in AI and machine learning from Purdue University in collaboration with IBM. This course teaches in-demand skills such as machine learning, deep learning, NLP, computer vision, reinforcement learning, chat GPT, and many more. So don't forget to check out the course link from the description box below and the pinned comment. So without any further ado, let's get started. So what is Search GPT? Search GPT is a new search engine prototype developed by OpenAI, designed to enhance the way we search for information using AI. Unlike a typical chatbot like ChatGPT, SearchGPT isn't just about having a conversation. It's focused on improving the search experience with some key features. The first one is direct answer. Instead of simply showing you a list of links, SearchGPT delivers direct answer to your question. For example, if you ask, what is the best wireless noise cancellation headphone in 2024? SearchGPT will summarize the top choices, highlighting their pros and cons based on expert reviews and user opinions. So this approach is different from the traditional search engines that typically provide a list of links leading to various articles or videos. The second one is relevant sources. Search GPT responses come with clear citations and links to the original sources, ensuring transparency and accuracy. So this way you can easily verify the information and delve deeper into the topic if you want. The third one, conversational search. Search GPT allows you to have a back and forth dialogue with the search engine. You can ask follow-up questions or refine your original query based on the responses you receive, making your search experience more interactive and personalized. Now let's jump into the next topic, which is Search GPT versus Google. So Search GPT is being talked about a major competitor to Google in the future. So let's break down how they differ in their approach to search. The first one is conversational versus keyword-based search. Search GPT uses a conversational interface allowing users to ask questions in natural language and refine their queries through follow-up questions. So this creates a more interactive search experience. On the other hand, Google relies on keyword-based search where users enter specific terms to find relevant web pages. The second thing is direct answer versus list of links. So one of the Search GPT's standout feature is its ability to provide direct answers to the question. It summarizes information from the various sources and clearly cites them. So you don't have to click through multiple links. Google typically presents a list of links leaving users to sift through the results to find the information they need. The third one, AI-powered understanding versus keyword matching. Search GPT uses AI to understand the intent behind your question, offering more relevant results even if your query isn't perfectly worded. Google's primary method is keyword matching which can sometimes lead to less accurate results, especially for complex queries. The fourth one, dynamic context versus isolated searches. So Search GPT maintains content across multiple interactions, allowing for more personalized responses. 
whereas Google treats eSearch as a separate query without remembering previous interaction. And the last one, real-time information versus indexed web pages. Searchability's aim to provide the latest information using real-time data from the web, whereas Google Watch Index is comprehensive but may include outdated or less relevant information. So now let's jump into the next topic, which is searchability versus AI overviews. So searchability and AI overviews both use AI, but they approach search and information delivery differently. It's also worth noting that both tools are still being developed, so their features and capabilities may evolve and even overlap as they grow. So here are the differences. The first one is source attribution. SearchGPT provides clear and direct citation linked to the original sources, making it easy for user to verify the information. Whereas AI overviews include links, the citation may not always be clear or directly associated with specific claims. The second one is transparency control. SearchGPT promises greater transparency by offering publishers control over how their content is used, including the option to opt out of AI training. AI overviews offers less transparency regarding the selection of content and the summarization process used. The next one is scope and depth. SearchGPT strives to deliver detailed and comprehensive answers pulling from a broad range of sources including potential multimedia content and in AI overviews offers a concise summary of key points often with links for further exploration but with a more limited scope. Now let's jump into the next part. SearchGPT versus ChatGPT. SearchGPT and ChatGPT both developed by OpenAI share some core features but serve different purposes. So here are some differences. The first one is primary purpose. SearchGPT is designed for search providing direct answer and sources from the web. Whereas ChatGPT focuses on conversational AI generating text responses. The second one is information sources. SearchGPT relies on real-time information from the web whereas ChatGPT knowledge is based on this training data, which might not be correct. The third one is response format. ChatGPT prioritizes concise answers with citation and source links. So whereas ChatGPT is more flexible, generating longer text, summarizes creative content, code, and etc. The next feature is use cases. ChatGPT ideal for fact-finding, research, and tasks requiring up-to-date information. Whereas ChatGPT is suitable for creative writing, brainstorming, drafting emails, and other open-ended tasks. So now question arises, when will SearchGPT be released? SearchGPT is currently in a limited prototype phase, meaning it's not yet widely available. OpenAI is testing with a select group to gather feedback and improve the tool. So if you are interested in trying SearchGPT, so you can join the waitlist on its webpage, but you will need a ChatGPT account. A full public release by the end of 2024 is unlikely, as OpenAI hasn't set a timeline. It's more probable that SearchGPT features will gradually add it to the ChatGPT in 2024 or in 2025, with a potential standalone release later based on testing and the feedback. So with this, we have come to end of this video. If you have any question or doubt, please feel free to ask in the comment section below. Our team of experts will help you as soon as possible. Thank you and keep learning with Simply Learn. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.